hi guys welcome back to matakazi signature in today's tutorial we're going to be recreating this beautiful captain yeah and this is my outcome it's actually beautiful it's a wrapper tie captain with a placket and i actually use um, a silk fabric so if this is what you want to watch please stay tuned and if you are coming across this channel for the first time why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on your notification bell because i upload new videos every week please do not forget to like share thank you so much guys so we'll get into the video so after recreating this beautiful captain i actually observed that mine is not really long like hers so i'll advise that when making yours had like three inches to the length because i added just one inch you know after tying the wrapper it tends to go up do you understand so like i said i made use of a silk fabric i used four years and my sleeve wasn't long like hers so if you're making yours and you want your sleeve to be longer than mine you can use four and a half yards so these are the tools i use in making like my ruler scissors measuring tape and chalk so i'll go ahead and fold my fabric I'll be cutting the front and the back together so i actually folded the fabric but this the way i folded it is not long like the length is not long enough so i had to refold again so the length i, I worked with was 59 i used 59 inches so my length my normal length is 58 so i just added one i added one and a half inch to the length yeah i used 59 and a half i used half inch to hem the the down part so i advise you can make you can have three inches to your length okay because by the time you tie the wrapper the your captain tends to go up do you understand if you actually want it to be very long so i've gone ahead to fold my fabric i folded it with my hip that's the biggest part of my body which is my hip circumference the hip i'm working with is 44 inches so i folded it like so like two as you can see i now refold it again because i'll be cutting the front and the back together so i'm gonna head to secure with an office pin because it's slippery you know i'm working with a silk fabric so as you can see this side is folded and i have two sides open and the other part is folded so i'll go ahead and draw my starting line so i'll go ahead and place my tape rule from my starting line i'll go ahead and mark my captain length the length i'm working with is 58 inches plus 1.5 inches that's 59.5 but i advise you had like two to three inches to make yours longer so for my starting line i came down by nine inches that is my chest line came down by nine inches so i came down by 17.5 inches that's my waistline so for my waistline i came down and mark 10 inches and also 12 inches that's where my hip lies so I'll just go ahead and draw my horizontal lines yeah so you'll be needing your chest line your chest line we need in your waistline and also your hip line so to determine your chest line is your bust circumference divided by six plus 2.5 inches so for my starting line for my center front i went ahead and marked 7.5 inches that is my shoulder measurement my shoulder i'm working with is 15 inches divided by two so whatever your shoulder is mark it come i came down on my chest line place the 7.5 inches so just go ahead and connect these points so now this is my chest line so now for my second front I came in words by three inches for my neck width that is the wideness of your neck 
I did three inches. I marked three inches. That's a standard measurement. So I came down by one inch because we are cutting the front and back together. After we, later we remove the the front piece and alter the neck the neck depth for the front. So for now I mark one inch. So I'll come down by one inch for my shoulder slope. So go ahead and connect it like so. So now from your shoulder tip, that's from that shoulder slant, from your shoulder tip to your chest line, whatever you have, go ahead and divide it by two, like so. Then come inwards by 0 0.5 inch. Connect it to your shoulder tip. So now go ahead and place my bust measurement. The bust I'm working with is 39 inches divided by 4 plus 3 inches. That's 2 inches for ease and 1 inch for joining. Do you understand? So if you want yours to be, I mean, looser than my, you can I'll go ahead and add like 4, four inches. Do you understand? So on the waist, I went ahead and divided my waist circumference, which is 31 inches by 4 plus 3 inches. So on my hip, the hip I'm working with is um, 44 inches divided by 4, 11 inches plus 3 inches. That is 14 inches. So on my hip, I, came, I went ahead and marked 14 inches so the 14 inches i went ahead and mark it all the way down so i'll go ahead and connect from my waist to my hip so whatever i have on my hip i'll bring it down that's the 14 inches I'll bring it all the way down to the hem line. So I'll go ahead and connect my points together. So I'll just go ahead and cut. So guys, at the armhole area, I went ahead and had half inch to it. Do you understand? For joining your sleeve, that's the half inch you use it to join your sleeve to your armhole. And I also went ahead and had half inch on the shoulder slant and also the neck area. I added half inch to that. So I'll go ahead and remove the back so we can be able to cut the neckline for the front. We'll go ahead and alter the neck for the front. So I came down and marked 3 inches for my neck depth, that's for the front. So I'll go ahead and connect it. I did 3 inches for the front, neck depth. So I'll go ahead and cut.
So now guys, we are done cutting the front piece and the back piece. So now the next thing to do is to cut the wrapper. So the wrapper is I folded into two like as you can see. So the wrapper is will be in the left hand side and also on the right hand side. So we'll be needing two wrappers, okay? And the width I use is 15 inches. I added one inch to hem in the 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 edge of the wrapper. That's 16 inches. So if you're a bigger if you're working on a bigger um size, you can add extra inches to the width, okay, to the wideness of the wrapper. And if you're working for a slimmer person, you can reduce the wideness of the wrapper. Do you understand? So I did 16 inches. So now I'll go ahead and start um marking out the length. So the waist I'm working with is 17.5. So 17.5 minus one inch. Because I added band to my waist, do you understand? I added the band to the to the wrapper, so you can see how I placed the tape measure. I started from 16 inches all the way to the length. You know, the length I'm working with is 59.5 inches. Yeah. So I'll just go ahead and open up. I mean, cut out the wrapper, the middle side. I'll go ahead. I went ahead and cut it like so yeah so the band the band is actually optional okay if you don't want to hard band you can just start from your waist measurements and just mark all the way to the length so now guys i've gone ahead to cut out my plaquettes and also i've cut out my belt and also the band that i'll be attaching to the wrapper so now the width of my wrapper is 16 inches so i've gone ahead to cut to wrap two bands okay and the width of the band is 16 inches as well and the width that is the wideness of the band i did two inches do you understand by the time we attach the band to the wrapper we'll be left with 1.5 inches now this is the placket on fold as you can see the wideness of the plaquettes i did two inches for the wideness and i've gone ahead to iron with an hair stay yeah i've ironed with an hair stay already so now this is the front piece so i'll go ahead and iron my front piece like iron the middle parts to give me a crease line do you understand for our plaquettes so guys, I'm done. I've gone ahead to high on it, as you can see, for me to have that crease line, to have that line over there. So I'll, from my neck depth, I came down and marked 8.5 inches. So I'll go ahead, I'll place my, my, um, the placket, um, band that I cut out. As you can see, I placed it like so. I'll just go ahead and secure with an office pin. I placed it at the middle part of our neck. Do you understand? Where I ironed, you can see. I ironed and it's giving me a straight line. A line. A crease line there. So that is where I placed my plaquettes. My the band for my plaquettes. I went ahead and placed the second one also like so. So I'll just secure with an office pin. So I'll be showing us how to sew these plaquettes on my sewing machine. So I'll just go ahead and mark out that 8.5 inches. So I'll just go ahead and sew half half inch on this side and half inch on the other side. So we'll be sewing half inch on that side and we'll be sewing half inch on the other side. We'll sew the half inch all the way to the 8.5 inches that we marked for the length of our plaquettes. So we are, when I read the 8.5, I cut out my thread. So I'll go ahead and sew half inch on the other side as well. So 
So after sewing, the next thing we'll be doing is I'll go ahead and turn my fabric like so. I'll use my scissors to cut it straight, like to open it up on that line that we ironed. Yeah, that line that we ironed. I'll cut it all the way to that 8.5 inches that we marked. So when you reach that 8.5 inch, you go ahead, you open it on this other side, you slant, cut it like so, and you cut it again, open it the other hand like so. So when you are done, you just put, fold your placket inside. Just watch what I'm doing, you fold it inside like so. So it will come out at the back so when you have folded it inside so just go ahead and sew it go ahead and stitch it when you insert it inside like on the wrong wrong side now when you've inserted it on the wrong side sorry so just go ahead and stitch it just so you understand, just go ahead and give it a good stitch. I'm just trying to secure the stitch. So I'll just go ahead done sewing a placket so just go ahead and give it a good press so now guys i'm done ironing i've gone ahead to iron my placket so i've placed my back piece you can see i've placed my back piece to my front piece so i'll go ahead and stitch the shoulder with half half, half inch Go ahead and hold the front piece to the back piece with half an inch on the shoulder. I'll be right back. So I'm done stitching the shoulder. As you can see, I've stitched the front and the back together. So the next thing we'll do is to measure our neck. That's the round neck, whatever we have in total. Place your tape measure from that placket to the end of the placket. Ensure to measure carefully so you get the exact measurement. So guys, after you're done measuring whatever you have around your neck, for example, if when you finish measuring, you have like 20 inches, 20 divided by 2 is 10 inches, okay? Whatever you have, go ahead and divide it by 2. Then you fold your fabric in a bias form like so. Then you start from the tip and start marking out whatever you uh, whatever you have when, when after you've divided by 2. Now, 20 inches divided by 2 is 10 inches. So you place your tape measure from the tip and start marking out 10 inches. So after you are done marking out, then you place a tape measure and mark out to know whatever you have in total. For example, if you have 10.5 inches, it's okay. Do you understand? By the time you open it up, it will be 21 inches. That's 10.5 plus 10.5 is 21 inches. So by the time you sew the edge with half, half inch, you will have 20 inches left. Do you understand? So now from, the, from that, whatever you've marked, you just place a tape measure up don't place it down you just place it up and mark out two inches so the band we are will be that me i worked with is 1.5 so i came up two inches that is half inch for sewing it on the uh i mean around the up area you understand and then and i came down and mark half inch for sewing to the neck because we'll be cutting two of this, so we'll be turning it. So we need extra inches for sewing allowance. Do you understand?
work. So I'm just going ahead and cut out like so. So you can decide to shape the your neck band. You can decide to give it a shape. You can decide to just leave it like so. Leave it like that. So after you're done, I went ahead and mark and cut out again. Cut out another one because I'll be turning it. Do you understand? I'll be turning, I'll be turning the band. So I went ahead, placed on, on the fabric and cut it out again. So after I'm done cutting out, I ensure to notch the down parts. That's the part that will be attaching to the neck. So it will not confuse you while sewing. You notch the down part so you know this is the down. Do you understand? So I'll just go ahead and high on hair stay on it. So I'm done high on in my hair stay on it as you can see. So now that's the down part that I notch. That's the down part that will be attaching to the neck. So I'll go ahead and place my material like so we'll be sewing half inch up you understand we'll be sewing half inch up we'll not turn it iron it give it a good press and sure to sew half half inch on the edge make sure that you have um, accurate measurement of the neck round neck before sewing your half inch do you understand so now this is my wrapper i'll go ahead i'll place my band like so you know the band is on fold and the width is two inches so i just go ahead and sew it half an inch i also sew it half an inch on the other side So now this is my belt, the belt I will be attaching on the wrapper side. The width I did, I did um, 3.5 inches, yeah, I did 3.5 inches for the width, that is the wideness, it's on foot guys, so the width, the wideness is 7 inches, so when it's on foot it's 3.5, do you understand? My fabric wasn't enough, so I actually joined, so the length, the length is 26 inches. For my belt 26 inches so now guys i'm done sewing my neck band as you can see i've sewn the up part i turned and i've ironed okay and also i've gone ahead so i'll go ahead and start attaching my band to my neck i'll attach it from one hand all the way to the other hand I didn't really sew the edge of the other side of my band I actually wanted to make sure that it matches first before sewing it so when you sew whatever remains you go ahead turn it and sew the edge so after I'm done sewing I will be weaving the inside okay I'll be doing weaving on the inside because I didn't pipe it so now this is my band I'm going ahead to iron it and this is the wrapper. I'm done attaching the band to the wrapper. So we'll go ahead and attach the wrapper to the to our captain. So this is how you'll be attaching it. This is how you'll be placing it. You go ahead and turn your captain on the wrong side like so. Ensure to turn it on the wrong side like so. You turn it, you turn the you turn it towards the back. Yeah, I actually flipped it. Yeah. This is the front side of the back. You now turn it. Do you understand? Let the back be facing you. Let the back piece be facing you. Okay? 
so we'll now place our wrapper so now this is the uh, front side of the front piece so we'll be placing our wrapper like so from the waist guys from the waist we'll start placing it from the waist now the wrong side will be facing the right side you can see what i'm doing and it will be starting from your waist now the wrong side of my wrapper i'll be placing it on the right side of the front so my chest line started from nine inches so i'll just go ahead and mark out my waist measurement so i'll go ahead and place the wrapper like so i'll just go ahead and secure with an office pin so we'll just go ahead and sew it one inch so i'll do the same for the other side i came down by 17.5 inches from my chest line that's from my hand bow then place my wrapper that's the wrong side facing the right side of the front you, you understand how i place the wrapper so go ahead and join with one inch so i'll go ahead and sew my neck band and I'll go ahead and attach my sleeve. So I'll be back, guys. So now, guys, I'm done sewing my neck band. So later, I will be weaving inside. And I've attached my sleeve, as you can see. And I've gone ahead to um, attach my belt. I actually piped the edge of the wrapper pipe it first before not before attaching your belt to it do you understand you can see i've attached my belt ensure to pipe the the side of the wrapper so i've gone ahead to pipe the hem side as well so guys we've come to the end of the video thank you so much guys for watching i really appreciate so if you really like the video please why not go ahead and give me a thumbs up share and please hit the subscribe button thank you